Fourth of July, and it's, it's and it's just a great atmosphere. That, you know, Chatham puts on. Uh, you know, we had the parade this morning. I think every year it's it's, it, it's better. You know, people are excited. See, not only the other floats, but to see our team come down down the street in the parade, they get excited, and, and they really support. The, you know, you know the you know our team very well in, in a lot of aspects, and it's just a, a great atmosphere. That you know, you always have a good crowd, and it's just it's just. Uh, Nothing like it, it's just great. Number 23, Matt Fincher. Everything here, the crowds, people come to Chatham just to go to, they don't even know who they're playing, they come and watch the Chatham A's play because they're in town and watching Chatham. There is something unique, something very special, and you know, I hope the guys over in this dugout really can appreciate that. And you're not going to feel it for next year, year after, a couple years down the road, you know, you're going to go, wow, I was in the Cape League and I played for the Chatham A's and I played against that guy and I played against this guy, and it's just a, it's just a special, very, very unique place to be and it's thanks to all these people and all the people who are the volunteers for the A's organization. Last year at Orleans, uh, was my first ever game, and I just remember the feel of it getting when I showed up to the field that day. It was like just such a vast amount of excitement. I mean, I noticed up on the hill that I mean, Orleans has this big hill over behind the first baseline. I just remember seeing over a thousand people there. Once my feet hit the dirt, I kind of felt like I was back at home again, and it was just it was nice. And it just feels so good. I don't know. I don't really know how else to describe it, but you know, the Cape is special. I think just more than anything, our team gets excited and the other teams because you're playing in front of a, a great crowd and, and people support you know both teams very well and I just think it's it's just amazing how the support you get from, from the Chatham area and you know the whole Cape Cod League. Well my family's in town tonight and for the weekend so it's once again it's a great location. We walked right from dinner and I knew it'd be really fun and once again there'd be some good energy out here tonight on July 4th. I think one of my favorite memories of coming to Veterans Field has to be when I was way younger, playing on the old wooden playground. It was so much fun, and I just wish I could go back and be young again and play on it one more time. Everybody join in. A two, two and a half, three. Take me out to the and 5,000 people on occasion like the 4th of July, I mean, it really makes you bring your A game out because it makes you think about, you know, one, like, 
this is America's game. It's America's national pastime. So you got to bring out your best stuff every single time you're out here, whenever you're playing. And uh, I think just having that in general, having that in the back of your head, you know, fans going crazy when you get a hit or when you score a run, like when guys get good strikeouts, like everything like that, it just kind of pumps you up, gets the adrenaline going, and it really makes you fired up for the ball. Uh, maybe some fireworks uh, as it gets a little bit later on at night. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like, I mean, the Sandlot movie. I mean, I don't know if you remember that scene, but basically it gets to nighttime. The only time they were actually able to play under the lights was when there were fireworks going off. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe somewhere in the background over here we get some, some fireworks going off, maybe in like the later innings. I feel like that would be something really cool and memorable, at least, at least for me to enjoy. But outside that, I mean, I'm just looking forward to playing a good baseball game. Let's go. No, it's a Let's unicorn. Go. Yeah, yeah, a unicorn.